Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby and I'm with Fitness is Medicine. Today I'm going to show you another workout you can do while you're traveling or if you're still at home and you need um, a workout that you can do in a small space. All I'm going to use today is a band and a small step and a chair. So I'm sure you can find something like that to use in your home. Um, if you don't have a step, you can use you know, the first step of a staircase or the st doorstep going into your house, things like that. There's lots of ways you can you can find a step that's usable. Um, so we're gonna start with some reverse flies. So I'm gonna take this band that I have and hold it straight out in front of me. I'm gonna add a little balance by doing a tandem stance. So if you can't see my feet, we're gonna put one foot in front of the other like this as a tandem stance. So hold that band straight out in front of you and then pull straight back. So importantly here, keep your shoulders down away from those ears, and we're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades like you're trying to hold a pencil between those shoulder blades. Notice that I'm keeping my shoulders down and going straight, so I'm making a good straight line with my arms. I don't need to go behind my back here, but squeezing those shoulder blades together as we go back. If you do have any shoulder pain with this, you can do it a little lower. You can squeeze here and really just squeeze Squeeze back, keeping those shoulders down away from those ears. You'll really feel this back here as you squeeze back. It's really good for posture and shoulder strength. So um, if you need to make it a little easier, you can let the band be a little more slack. You won't have a lot of resistance in the beginning, but you'll have more at the end. Um, if you need more resistance, put it closer together or double that band up. So you can squeeze back with that band doubled up and that will give you quite a bit more resistance. Okay, next we're gonna do some step ups. So, I'm gonna make sure, I think that's gonna be all right back here. I'm just gonna use this little step. We've had you know, little stools for our kids around for years, so we've got little steps sitting around. I could also use a step on our deck outside or you know, the entryway coming into the house. I'm gonna use this to begin with. I have a sturdy chair next to me, or I have this, but have something next to you if you do have um, any balance issues. We're just going to step straight up and then back down with that same foot. So we're going to do 10 on one foot. If you need to add some resistance to this, you can hold, you know, a jug of water or, you know, a bucket of water or a water bottle, anything. Hit some dumbbells if you have them around. If you're traveling, you probably did not travel with dumbbells. If you do use a small step like this, make sure you step up with your whole foot. You don't want to step up down back here and then lose your balance or conversely step over it. So make sure you step up with your whole foot. After you've done 10 on one side, go ahead and switch and do the other. If you do have knee pain with this and this really bothers you, one thing you can do, keep going in one way, is just switch. So switch which foot you step up with. Make sure you do five or 10 on each side. Just get a good challenge in those quads. If that doesn't feel very challenging to you and you need a little bit more, you can find a higher step. Um, like I could use this mantle right next to me and step up here. That's gonna be a little more challenging for balance and you don't wanna run into anything. But the other thing you can do is put your foot up on that step and step up and down like this without coming back all the way back down each time. And that <clears throat> will give you just a little bit more of a contraction in those quads. So you can do those too if you need a little bit more than those plain step ups. Okay, next we're going to do shoulder press. So grab that band again, and we're gonna stand on it, just like we did the other day for biceps. And put it right at your shoulders and press straight overhead. So there's a few different ways you could do this. If your band isn't long enough, you can sit in a chair and sit on it like this and press straight overhead. If you do have a long enough band and you can stand on it, try doing it on one foot. We'll try to add a little bit more balance into this. So we're gonna press straight up holding on one foot. Remember when you press up, your shoulders still stay away from your ears. You don't wanna really raise up and press like that. If you have shoulder pain with this, 
you can do a smaller range of motion. You're still getting that, that muscle engagement and you're still getting that um, range of motion for this. So just, you know, you can, you can try it a lot of different ways. You can stand with two feet, you can sit, try standing with one foot. There's a few different ways you can do that to uh, accommodate the, the length of your band and things like that. If you have shoulder, if you have back pain with this, it's probably better to sit so you can work those shoulders without engaging your back. Okay, now we're gonna use that step again for some balance. So have that chair nearby in case you do lose your balance. All we're going to do is step tap. So we're gonna step slowly tap your foot uh, just on top. If you can, just really slowly use that chair next to you if you do have any balance, um, balance loss. Okay, if this feels doable to you and you want a little bit more of a challenge, try using one foot at a time. So I'm gonna stand on one foot, tap, and then tap down, and tap up, and tap down. And just go slowly both directions, tapping each way. Don't, don't bring it all the way down. We're gonna tap each way. We do need that added challenge. So we'll try about 10 on each side and then we'll adjust and do the same. So the other thing is, is if this feels pretty doable to you and pretty um, easy and you may need a little bit more of a challenge, you can try a higher step. But I think really just doing this slowly is a good enough challenge. The other thing you can do is start to move your arms around a little bit. You can you know, look around the room versus staring at one spot, different things like that. So standing on one foot, make sure when you're standing, you're keeping your hips level and you're not letting your, your weight go into the hip like this. You wanna keep those glutes engaged to keep your hips strong. So this also is a glute strengthener by standing on that one foot. Okay, next we're gonna do dips. So you can use any sturdy chair for this or a good coffee table and I can show you that. But using a sturdy chair, and we want to keep your knees bent. And I'm going to put my hands right on the side of this chair like this. And just lower my hips down and come back up. And let's see how that feels to begin with. So these are dips. So they're working your shoulders and your triceps right here. They're really engaging those triceps. So lots of times when I show people this exercise, they instantly hunch up their shoulders before they start. But you want, again, you want to keep your shoulders away from your ears lower your hips down off the edge of the chair and come back up. If that feels doable, let's try a few in a row. So we're keeping our knees bent. We can go down and up. You can try two in a row. You can do as many in a row as you feel safe doing, as long as you don't have shoulder pain with this. Importantly, you're keeping your back right against this chair to avoid that anterior shoulder pinch. So, I am scraping the back of the chair with my back. You know, you don't want to hurt yourself. You don't want to really scrape it, but I'm keeping it close. I'm touching. And notice I'm keeping my knees bent. If you can do 10 of those and they feel pretty doable and you don't have any shoulder pain, you can straighten your knees a little more. So by straightening your knees, you're increasing that lever length between the contact point here and you can do as many in a row as you feel comfortable doing without shoulder pain. You're gonna feel it in the backs of your arms, that's where you're supposed to feel it. Um, the other thing you can do are, uh, if you have any yoga blocks or some big thick books, if you just can't do those, that's okay. You can sit on a surface like this with those yoga blocks or some you know, good thick books and push up like this. So keep those shoulders down, keep your legs out of it, they're just, sitting there, my legs are not engaging. I'm pushing my body weight up with my arms. So this is a really important one if you think, um, you know, if you do need your arms to be able to get out of the chair, or if you are going to have a hip surgery and you're gonna to need to be moving yourself around, things like that. But just in general, being able to push yourself up off the ground or push yourself up off something is a really important skill. So you're gonna really wanna try to find one of these variables that works for you. 
Okay, one more to do. We're gonna use that chair again to do an abdominal exercise, a core exercise. And sit on that chair, you're gonna sit back a little bit. Put your hands underneath your legs like this with your palms facing down. You're gonna kind of push down into that chair a little. Shoulders down, as always, and all you're going to do is lift your feet up off the floor. So you're going to lift and come back down. So, this is harder than it looks, just like a lot of these things. When you lift up, try to keep your torso stable or even crunch forward just a little. It's okay to kind of crunch forward towards your knees. What you don't want to do is rock back like this to lift your knees up. And if you can't get your feet up off the ground at the same time, start with one. Try that a few times with one. And then try both at the same time. And if they don't come up very far off the ground, that's okay. Just lift them and try to do it slowly if you can. Pushing down into that chair and keeping your shoulders. Don't put your shoulders like this. Keep those shoulders down away from those ears and just lift those knees. We're gonna do it 10 times in a row. I don't know how many I've done, but remember, don't rock back. You can stay still or even crunch forward a little bit. We're really engaging those abs and lifting those feet up off the floor. Okay, I'm just gonna do those through once today and you can go ahead and repeat them. Go ahead and repeat them at least um, one or two more times. If you wanna do a set of these in the morning and then maybe one later in the afternoon, that's fine too. Try to go through them a couple times though if you have the time. It's good to get that, you know, challenge those muscles, challenge that balance, and try to stay with your routine as you're traveling or if you're at home and you still can't go back to the gym. Really push yourself because moving is so important for so many reasons right now. So let me know if you have any questions or if you need any suggestions for differences in the exercises, if you need any variables, if you need any um, anything else to make it work for you if you have any pain with any of these, stop and contact me. All right, thanks everybody. Keep moving and I'll talk to you soon.